technology. Is that true? I, my love affair is with ingenuity. Mm -hmm. I love ingenuity seeing the implications of a, of a new hypothetical piece of technology or a new real one uh, is one of the ingenuity games I love to play. A lot of your work would involve hard science. Does it concern you that maybe the mass audience doesn't understand? Of course I care. <laughs> the thing is, I'm very good at explaining ideas once I understand them myself. I can explain almost anything to anyone. That's that's why I do it, or, or at least that's why I get away with it. Does it ever concern you that you're good at understanding aliens? I would like to meet an alien, uh, get to know him. I would particularly like to know him after somebody else has figured out his language, because that seems to me to be the hard part. I usually bring my characters on stage after an alien has been around for a while, hundreds of years perhaps. Otherwise, the communications problem is, is just too damn difficult. Niven and his frequent collaborator, Jerry Pornell, introduced an alien race in their best-selling novel, A Mote in God's Eye, a few years back. Now, with the sequel, The Gripping Hand, just out, the Modis are among us once again. Who are the Modis? Uh, Modi is not easily described, but let's call, him a, uh, let's call him an alien with a real problem and a real solution. They don't have wars for misunderstandings the way we do, because they split into a dozen classes since they were intelligent. And one of their classes is a, uh, is a translator. Translators, artists, uh, anything involved in communication are done by the Modi mediators. They don't have wars for misunderstandings. They have wars because the only, because if they don't get pregnant, they will die. You know, uh I wouldn't mind dating some of these Modis. Feel free. Lately, Niven is reeling over the success of a story he created called The Man Kazin Wars. Set in an interstellar empire bigger than human space, Niven has handed the ball to various science fiction authors and let them run with it. These are the stories I like. These are the kind of stories I like. I'm having a wonderful time reading Man Kazin Wars stories written without my having to do any work, or almost. Uh, why wouldn't 10 million readers out there be having just as much fun as I do? do can you ever, I mean, do you ever stop mm, thinking of things to write about? And... No, not really. No? I, when I first started this, I was thinking I was getting my best ideas in bars. That fortunately turned out not to be true. <laughs> it turns out I'm at work wherever you, wherever you find me. The IRS hasn't bought that story quite yet, but it's true. Play galore awaits you, mortals, when we buzz with the star of Highlander after this disconnect.